Hi folks, as I mentioned last time I worked on the locomotive, there was a couple of things I needed to do silver soldering wise, and I just got ahead, went ahead and did those tonight. First thing was, this is the line that sends the steam from the manifold and the, uh, the valve, PM Research valve that I made, down to the loco parts brake valve. And, what I realized was the original nut I had made, it was a little skimpy on the back side. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I don't know. You were not going to be able to see this, but when I cut it off, it there's just not a lot of shoulder between the threaded portion and the rear portion. So I realized that when I connected it. And I'm like, eh, well, i got the time to redo that now. I may as well. So I made another nut that's just a little bit deeper and has a little bit more metal on the back side of it, if you will, a little bit more of a shoulder. And I just unsoldered this fitting and took this nut off, put this nut on, and re-soldered this fitting. And as you can see, it's been a while since I silver soldered. I kind of globbed that up. Good news is it fits over. It'll work fine just like it is. I won't really need to clean up, but just for appearance's sake, I'll uh, I'll clean up that globby silver solder a little bit, and I'll, I'll uh, just to clean the metal and get all the flux residue off. I'll use the um, I'll, I'll use some what I like to use is citric acid, which is a little less hazardous on the environment. While I was silver soldering, I went ahead and did this is the line for the brake exhaust, and same kind of deal. It didn't matter the orientation or anything, but I just needed a put the fitting on so that it can go on the other side of the brake valve and exhaust the excess steam out to the bottom of the locomotive. So I just finished those. I thought while I'm outside here I'd show my very elaborate silver soldering setup because I didn't want to affect this fitting. I used a little wet rag. I soaked it in water and I wrapped it around to keep that side of the tube cool and um, that worked fine. These, I use the little various pliers, uh, wire snips and so forth for cutting off the silver solder and removing, handling the hot metal while it's, um, while it's heated and it's kind of redundant. Here's some of the other things. I like to use this, I get this silver solder from the local welding supply. This is Radnor Stay Bright Silver Solder and it comes with a paste flux which is fantastic it really helps or it doesn't come with that I buy that extra and this one can has lasted me for years it comes with this little stay stay clean acid it's a very liquid acid flux so I like to use that for cleaning parts after I took apart the the part that I resoldered I cleaned off I used some sandpaper bits and some clean a clean rag and then I used the liquid acid flux to make sure it was clean and you get really good adhesion that way. There's the silver solder itself and there's some great videos. Keith Appleton has done some great videos on YouTube about silver soldering and there's good written text material about that in Kozo's book. So I do wear gloves because there's acid in these things and just so I don't get it on my hands. There's the extra one I took it off to do the filming. So right now, with these things done, I'll uh, always disconnect the, the uh, nozzle from the torch after it cools, and that way it doesn't waste any gas. And I'll get some little flux bath out here, some citric acid, like I said, is what I use, and I'll let that soak for a while and clean it up, and then clean up some of the globby solder there. So there's a little update for you. Finally back working on the locomotive again, and I will keep you posted.